Welcome to Craig and Katie's Jaguar E-Type Adventure. Today we're going to take the 68 E-Type Series 1.5 to the Seattle Jaguar Club event called the Spring Thing Rally. So we'll explain a little bit more as we go how that rally works. These videos are taken from the passenger's perspective in the E-Type, so I hope you enjoy. we make it back. So it's that one right there. Now let's just wiggle some wires here. And then and we're back. So that's all it takes. So that tells me that there's a defroster thing right in the way. Okay, massage that fuse a little bit. Make sure this thing doesn't get pressed up in the wrong spot. There we go. There we go. Okay. previous clip was me wiggling the fuse in the fuse block. These connections are a little bit old and they need to be cleaned out, so that's on my list of things to do. We're passing over Highway 18 here in Washington State and heading toward the town of Snoqualmie, Washington, where the rally will start. Here we've arrived at the parking lot to meet up with the rest of the club. We received our trip notes and a briefing on the rally. Also present for the vintage cars was a Series 3 2 Plus 2 shown here in red. There's also an XK120 drop head coupe and a 67 E-Type coupe. Let's hit the road. We're following an XK120 drop head coupe. Ahead of that is an XJS, and it's hard to tell what's ahead of that. Some more modern cars. Welcome aboard the E-Type rocket ship. We are somewhere near Carnation, eventually heading for Black Diamond, cruising through the beautiful countryside. Shortly before this point, a good number of people missed a turnoff that was really tricky. And Katie happened to catch it just in time, but the car in front of us locked up their brakes and had to turn around and several others had to turn around. So that put us in the lead for a while until we missed one. also included a timed event but it's not what you think it's not a race it's it's a test to see how close you can follow the posted speed limit and you get deducted points for arriving early or late to a checkpoint per second so it's imperative that you keep good track and if you miss your turn like we did on a couple occasions you have to do some dead reckoning to figure out how long you deviated
Just before this is where we missed a turnoff. We were looking for road that was labeled northwest, but only a southwest was labeled on the sign. So we could have deduced it was northwest, but that's part of the fun of these rallies is sometimes there are little tricks that are thrown in, whether it was purposeful or not. It does create more interest. So we eventually got back on track due to our skillful navigator and hit the countryside again. We're almost there. We were excited to get some stretching time. Black Diamond Bakery. We had a nice brunch and chatted with the club members about the drive. Initially we weren't going to do the timed event but they handed us a sheet and Katie happened to keep notes while we were there so she tallied up our deductions and I think we were about 300 seconds off total for the whole trip. Uh, it turns out that's what it takes to get second place in this so we got second place in a rally that we weren't really entered in but we do qualify because we brought an original Jaguar and we're members of the club. So we received an award, we were quite surprised by that. We also got second place in the gimmick rally. We picked up most of the clues and answered a couple bonus questions, so we really enjoyed it. Uh, the rest of the video is us coming home on uh, Southeast Green Valley Road in Black Diamond, Washington. But uh, really scenic, lots of farms, and uh, here we are turning onto this road. Uh, we really enjoyed the trip and we look forward to doing it again.
arrived home on our own four wheels, so we really appreciated that. I was half expecting to arrive on a record because sometimes when you haven't driven a car for a while, things come up. But uh, there's a couple pictures at the end here of the car safely nested in the garage and some of the items that were part of the prize package. So we thank the Jaguar Club for putting on this event and look forward to doing more in the future. Well, thank you for watching, and if you like this, hit like and subscribe, and we'll post more content as we have more adventures.